I'm in a good mood. Wow, ooh, and you have such a nice manicure. Now, a guy has to be pretty secure to do that. It's not for me, but on you, it works. Kudos. So, we'll spare the hands. I'll start with the toes. Your toes or the name of your contact? Makes no difference to me. Toes it is. <laughs> Something I'd like to go over before we begin, Mr. Collins. Can I call you Marcus? Would that be all right? See, Marcus, you need to understand that pain is the only human process that is completely defined by the person experiencing it. Now, the more I do this, the more I learn that people are very different in how they respond to the pain I put them through. You say potato, I say blah, blah, that type of idea. Now, I would say that the majority, maybe 90% of my projects scream out right away, but then some surprise me. They grit their teeth for as long as they can until they pass out, and they never make any sound at all. Now, they're not any braver than anyone else. They're just different, which is what makes this job so very interesting. You really get to see what people are made of, literally. So, who are you? Are you a screamer or the strong and silent type? Let's find out. <laughs> nice to meet you, Marcus. <laughs> Yes, you can. You can do it, Kim. You do whatever you need to to get through. You scream your head off if you need to, okay? I love you. I love you so much, baby. All right, Kim, I can see the head. Just one more push to do it. I should warn you, Daddy, if you're the fainting type, it's going to get a little bloody right now. I'll be good. Okay, Kim. On one, two, and three. 